I'll take two milk, my good man. What a majestic mustache slash beard, my god. Goodness, he's a weird looking character. What's up dudes and dudettes of the air and I'm on M. Scythe and today we're gonna be taking a first look at Warhammer and Times Verminite. Because we're fighting rats, it's the vermin. Yes, we want to deal with the vermin. So anyway, this game, straight up, we're just gonna say this straight off the hop. And I'm also going to be referencing Left 4 Dead a lot. Because this game is pretty much a medieval melee style combat version of Left 4 Dead. It's got multiple different characters, you can always reselect your hero and stuff, and just to kind of give an idea, we're gonna be playing as a big heavy guy who's got lots of sweep attacks, because I personally like him a lot, uh, but all of these characters actually over Left 4 Dead, where you're just kind of choosing a different skin, all of these characters actually operate very, very differently. This guy's more of a tanky character and has a lot of blocking defense. She's a sniper, he's kind of a more uh, focused on a single target melee fighter as well as a bit more ranged and she is just 100% ranged magic and stuff like that with not much physical damage. So anyway, we're going to be playing as a big guy with a sweep attacks. If you're wondering about this beautiful sword, that is because I actually swapped off of our default wolf hammer, which for, for the sake of today, I'm going to just swap back to this. But this is actually uh, just because I want to talk about this because I don't think we're going to have enough time to actually get through one level today. Once you actually complete a level, you have a random chance of getting different loot for different classes, and you can always end up going into these trinkets to try and select. Uh, wh what these trinkets do is they kind of make it so that greatly increases your chance to find equipment for the Empire's, Empire Soldier class, right? So we could end up using any of these to kind of choose our favorite, right? So anyway, uh, the different types of weapons that you end up getting out of the loot uh, not only can end up being fairly weak, and stuff like that, but they can also end up being extremely cool, and I'm just gonna force the match right now uh, and just start a game with bots, because you can always play alone, albeit, uh, I mean, it's a lot more fun when we're playing with other players, right? So, the other thing, too, normally I would skip out this loading screen, but I do have a couple things that I do want to talk about, one of which is, uh, again, with the loot and the differences in the weapons, because this is something that I found extremely in-depth and extremely awesome about this game, is this guy's default weapon is a hand hammer. Our normal attack will usually one-shot most enemies, right? But if we end up holding our uh, attack for a charge attack, it ends up doing sweeping damage. That other sword that you saw that I was uh, started the video with, I actually found as random loot. And it, although it doesn't have nearly as much raw damage as the hammer does, it can actually, like every normal attack with it, is sweeping damage. So each of the weapon types are so in-depth and so so cool i love the fact that this game has such a amazing melee system while also just being an extremely tight game one of the biggest things that i would complain about though the only thing i would complain about rather is the washed out colors but straight up this game is ha left for dead with rats and I, when I said Left 4 Dead, I mean it's Left 4 Dead. Like, there are tank enemies, there's smokers, there is the boomer characters, and everything. Like, every enemy type from Left 4 Dead is in this game. And even the fact that it's four-player co-op, and you kind of go through the area, and the game as well has the dynamic changing difficulty. Let me turn my own volume up a little bit. There we go. It has dynamic changing difficulty, similar to Left 4 Dead, where if you're killing everything and going through the map like nothing, you're going to end up running into a lot more resistance later on because the map itself kind of has its own level of AI. You can also find hidden caches, as you can see right here. This one gave us an incendiary bomb. The loot is always randomized every single time. And of course, it is like straight up, straight up Left 4 Dead. So if you're a Left 4 Dead fan, you're going to love this game. Really, you are, because I'm a Left 4 Dead fan, I love Left 4 Dead, and I love this game. I was actually very surprised when I started playing it. So let's actually do our heavy attack right here. <laughs> I love, like, oh, look at that, isn't that amazing? This character is so tight, I love this guy. Oh no, the rat horn! So when that goes off, that is pretty much the same as saying that there is a horde of zombies coming in Left 4 Dead, but now there's just a horde of rats coming instead, right? So we can always, as any of the classes, whoops, we can swap over to our secondary weapon, 
Uh, not really something you're gonna be using as often as you would in Left 4 Dead because, again, your primary weapon is mostly where it's at, except for the mage because she ends up using her spells more than actually using her sword that she's got. I'm getting a little bit of frame rate slowdown right now. I hope that's not gonna show up in the video. That could be because I have other stuff going on in the background, but I will say that this game can end up being a little bit beefy. Oh no! I will save you! This game can end up requiring a bit of a beefier computer, that's for sure, but at the same time, not so much. Not so much. I mean, my computer- oh no! Boomer! My computer is fairly powerful anyway, and I only am getting slow down now that I'm playing this game at 2K resolution and recording, but otherwise it handles itself extremely well. Whoa! Okay, there we go. Got that boomer as well. <laughs> <laughs> so what I wanted to say as well is uh, you're gonna notice the hot bar on the right side of our screen as well has all the exact same things We even have a medic kit where we left click to heal ourselves right click to heal our partners And it takes a little bit of a time limit before you can actually do it and then this is a uh, strength potion, as indicated by the fist. The only other potion that I've ran into is a speed potion, which makes you move faster, attack faster, everything. And then there's just a couple different types of bombs as well. So this guy, as you can see, we're, we don't do that much, like, as I was saying, we only do real single target damage when we use our normal left click, but this guy, his sweeping damage is really where it's at. And you can either hold the left click until, bam, that was a fully charged heavy attack, which means that it's going to cause maximum amount of damage. We can also always hold left click and let go at a time that's more opportune to us. So I, I just find it so gratifying using this guy, just knocking the enemy enemies back and forth over and over while my compadres usually end up killing and finishing them off. Now, of course, we've, if we are using the hammer as this guy, we're not going to get any of that beautiful gibbing that is like cutting them in half or cutting off their heads and stuff like that. And they got all, all the normal bells and whistles you would expect from a game like this where it's like if you cut off an enemy's head, it can actually still walk around and attack for a little bit. It's very, very cool. Very, very exciting. Uh, they also have hidden caches around as well, so it, it does benefit you to go around exploring because you will end up finding like uh, more supplies of bombs and stuff like that. There are also tomes, usually three on a level as far as I can tell, and those tomes... I have no idea what they do, but I do know that they are a collectible and you actually need each individual character is going to have to grab a tome. So in this level, for example, there's three. I don't know if there's more in later levels because I haven't really played anything outside of just playing the first level over and over. Look at that! That's beautiful! So yeah, um, uh, there's three tomes in this level and you can only carry one tome at a time. So you actually are going to have to have three different characters carrying all the tomes. And as you can see right here, we got a lot more enemies starting to generate because we're getting through this wi mildly unscathed without like dealing with much damage and stuff. We also don't bump into our characters and oh my goodness. That's time for an incendiary bomb. Oh yeah. What is that sound of a ding ding ding? <laughs> Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? Are you taking damage? But either way, like I am just so surprised that this game has so much polish to it, uh, like, just so early on, you know, like, it's like they really knew what they were doing. It's not just a bad copy and paste of Left 4 Dead. It's a very well done clone of Left 4 Dead, while also, like, e even though I keep saying that, I don't want to take away from the fact that this game is very, very cool. Now, this is an armored enemy, and he actually ends up having a lot more defense, so we kind of gotta knock him around and team up on him a little bit before we do some damage. So, I want to show you this right here, because this is the only secret area I know about in this level, is if you come down here, usually this loot chest, well, it's usually empty. That's, r that's true. And then a secret within a secret, and there is the tome. So, this actually takes our healing section and you can see one of three tomes collected. I want my healing potion back. Did somebody steal that? <laughs> one of those stupid pesky bots stole it because unfortunately you can't tell the bots to end up picking any of those up. Ah! No! It's the Lickitung guy! Ugh, ugh. That's the equivalent to the tonguey smoker guy, not smoker, the, the tongue guy from Left 4 Dead. I, I'm sure you all know the callouts more than I actually do. Hello, rat man. Hello, other rat man. Oh, great. We got a turret guy over here. This is another different type of enemy, which I guess would be unique to this game. Look how cool he is. Look how sick that is. 
This game is so amazing, man. Seriously. I, I've just been having such a blast playing this game. It's a little bit pricey, but of course you're getting like a top quality game like straight up It really really is an amazing game and as you can see here straight up left for dead We can spot the ammunition for our friends and that replenishes your secondary weapon and uh, It's just amazing like this game seriously. I, I just really love it I wish that there was a little bit more color to it though just for my own personal taste So anyway, you can see right here not only did we just get a horde coming in, but over here we've actually got a barrel that we need to carry over to a location. Very, very left for dead. Very left for dead, isn't it? These rats, of course, are usually, they're, they're the weakest ones. The ones that kind of look like they're naked. They're like the weakest ones. You don't really got to deal with that much damage from them or anything like that. So... We could end up escorting them, but they're bots, so they typically aren't going to end up doing it, but we can bring this over ourselves. It's an explosive barrel, which means if we end up taking damage during this time, it will start igniting the fuse, and then it could actually potentially cause damage to us, or cause damage to the enemies. And you're gonna see as well, we're starting to get a lot more enemies generating in. The other thing too is this game, because it's a melee style game, uh, we can actually, if we press space and jump sideways, Oh no, the fuse! That's it. Yeah! <laughs> that was perfect! I didn't even know we could do that! So yeah, there is uh, dodging. So you can actually shift, uh, like you just jump uh, left, right, or backwards. Uh, if you hold up and right too, they actually uh, make it so that you dodge sideways. You can actually go into the options and tweak a lot of the gameplay too, which is very surprising. But unfortunately, one thing you can't seem to tweak Oh yeah, is um, the speech volume of our friends. Oh, oh, no! Why'd you ruin that for me? I was trying to get a cinematic shot, you jerk. Oh no, there's another one. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool. Uh, there is also sometimes you will actually run into, I, I just think that's so cool, uh, where you can actually run into, let's actually pop this potion, doesn't heal as much as the full healing solve, but of course you get to use it a lot faster than the other thing. I'm just listening to the music because this game does have all the same audio cues. Not the same audio cues as Left 4 Dead, it just has proper audio cues where you kind of know like, oh no, the music's getting really intense, which means that we're probably going to en end up running into something very intense a little bit later on. I'm really hoping that we could end up running into a tank, but doesn't look like we're going to. Sometimes there's good loot up there, that's why I went for that. Get! Oh no, they killed it already! <laughs> uh, also, Chivalry! is another game that I would very much compare this game's melee combat to. It may end up, like, it may seem a little bit slow to most people. That, again, is just because we're playing as the slower melee type of character. Of course, most of the era characters do have a little bit more attack speed. This guy's kind of one of the slower characters because he's got that intense sweep going on for him. Sweep! Swing bat a bat We need a bat. What is this? Is this a secret? Yeah, so we're gonna end up just going up to this next area and then we may uh, end up uh, calling it for this first look just because the levels do tend to take the same amount of time as the Left 4 Dead levels. At least this one does where it takes maybe like 20 minutes or more uh, depending on the group and depending on how you actually go about things. But I'm, but I'm hoping... Yeah, I can hear it. I can hear it. We actually generated in a rat army. That's gonna start showing up. Now these these dudes can be very, very deadly because it pretty much generates a whole group of enemies that are marching in towards us and every single one of them has armor. So we're gonna actually pop our strength potion and start taking them out. Oh my goodness, they hurt so much. <laughs> that strength potion is helping a lot more than you think because otherwise that could have ended up being very, very tough. Very, very tough. What was that weird heal? Oh my goodness, that's bloody. <laughs> Sorry to the younger audience members that are tuning in, but yeah, you can actually go into the options and turn most of the gore off, so yeah, I, I would recommend that if you're a younger, uh, a younger player, but either way, I mean, I, I just love this. Like, seriously, it's so cool. So we're probably gonna do this last onslaught. Uh, because I'm just showing you right here as well, we can- Oh! Where is he? I hear an enemy! Is that a tank? I think we got a tank rolling in! Yup! Yup! 
We got a tank. This is gonna be perfect. Oh my goodness, yep. He's a tank. He's a tank. He is beautiful. Ah! He's got that knockback though. Never mind my knockback. So just as you would expect, being a tank means that he's very, very difficult. What I've ended up finding you can do is you can usually attack him a couple times, and if we end up stealing his aggro. Oh, we're at one hit too, which is not good. But if we end up stealing his aggro. Oh, never mind. They actually. <laughs> they wrecked him. Uh, but yeah, that's where the back dodge actually comes in handy because if you time it right, you can dodge the majority of that. Rat Ogre, I guess they call it. You can dodge the most majority of his attacks, no problem. And then, of course, once we end up getting further into the level, there is, uh, like, the end of the level is indicated by, like, a run into the door and close it while all your teammates are in, you know, and everybody get on the elevator and stuff like that. But, yeah, I just wanted to kind of show you, too, this is a great part to, uh, great spot for us to part ways here because I just wanted to show that there is interior areas and, again, I haven't played all the levels. I've mostly just played the same one over and over again because I have such a fun time with it Seems like we got an assassin rolling in or something because yeah If we just kind of stand around the rats do not leave you alone They do end up just coming in left and right and just oh, 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 oh Thank you for resing me that boomer Get out of here unless that's not a boomer. Maybe it's a gas guy It's been a long time since I played left for dead. Thank you all so much for watching I very much appreciate it. links will be in the description to everything that you could ever possibly want with this game It's a fantastic game that you can pick up on Steam And uh, I think you can pick it up on their website because they do actually have their own launcher as well But either way, it's a great game, especially if you got friends to play it with as well Thanks for watching everybody I would very much appreciate if you found this video helpful and if you enjoyed it too, a duke in the like button share favorite or subscribe to join team Pixel. Sign on, stay epic, everybody.